This is James Calm, the guy on the bike. Welcome you viewers all back for another half ass production. And today we're coming to you from Zwerner and Worth here at 32 East 69th Street. We've got a special treat for you of the Painterly Persuasion. We're gonna take a look at an exhibition by Mary Heilman titled Some Pretty Colors. Let's check it out. This is a pretty packed opening here this evening. This is a selection of works by Mary from over the last three decades. This piece is titled The Secret Red and White, 1989. And they talk about Mary being influenced by many things, including her experiences in the Southern California surf scene. And for anybody that's uh, been keeping an eye on the New York art scene, for about the last five years, Mary Heilman has emerged as one of the very popular female painters these days. It's called Sisters of No Mercy, oil on canvas 54 by 54, and with this piece you can sort of see the kind of games that Mary plays. This actually looks like two canvases joined together. She's using the three black squares to sort of unite them all. It's got a very, very direct and flat paint quality that she gets in a lot of this work. I also find myself enjoying her very human and quivery handmade edges. Here's Richard Flood, the curator of the new museum. There will probably be a lot of the serious New York painting crowd out tonight. This is a work on paper. This is Puzzle 1995, oil on paper. Simplicity sort of hides the, the complexness and a great combining of line, edge, shape, and color. Nice little piece. This is Black Dahlia 2001. 15 by 11, three quarters. Also a very popular teacher out at SBA. Mary Heilman achieved a very uh, remarkable coincidence of having her work reproduced on the covers of both Art Forum and Art in America in one month last year. And I think that that's probably hasn't happened since Roy Lichtenstein had it done in the mid 60s. since the 60s. And I think that she has the kind of career that gives a lot of artists hope. She 
just seems to have been rediscovered in the last four or five years. And I noticed her work is now being displayed in the permanent collection at the Whitney. She was featured in the Whitney Biennial. She was in the High Times, Hard Times. That major reevaluation that was up at the Academy of Design about a year and a half ago. And she also had a room dedicated to her work at the recent Painting Now and Forever Part Two. Matthew Marks. This is called Blue Hadragia, 1996, Oil on Canvas. I think this is one of the gems. Speaking with the gentleman that installed the show. Introduce yourself, Eric. <laughs> He's a little bashful. I don't want to be It's not a movie. This again is a very good example of a simple format. But I think they're a wonderful selection of colors playing off the analogous blues. A couple of these nice shots of plum and magenta it really activates that whole surface this is the title piece of the show this is titled some pretty colors it's 50 by 40 inches. We can really see that uh, Mary has bumped up her palette here. This is almost fluorescent. And I think she's able to get a harmony, a very high key harmony that doesn't make this vibrate out of control. It's David Reed. Don Christensen. And this striking lady is Marilyn Minter. This is Yoshimi, 2005. This is another shaped canvas that gives the impression of squares being overlaid. Somebody plugged in a Matisse. Very nice. <laughs> and now we're speaking with Bobby G. Uh, you're a big fan of Mary's? I think her works are beautiful. I think the works are beautiful. Yeah, and colorful. Uh, what uh, what part do you think she fits in in the uh, the New York art scene right now, as far as the abstract painting world goes? Near the top. Near the top. Any other wonderful insights? It's very sophisticated color combinations. That's what I was thinking. How are you doing? I'm well. You working? All the time. Never stop working. That's what my wife said. Good for you. Thanks, Bobby. It's a pleasure. Spider Stratagem. 1995. We've got a little shadow strip along the white lines here. But despite the, the apparent simplicity, these are very... Very slow and conscientiously constructed. Stephen Westfall. This is Storm 2005. Four by five feet. This is James Calm reporting from Zwerner and Worth on Mary Heilman's some pretty colors. Thanks, Kate.